Without much in terms of a tutorial, the first day in Terraria can be extremely overwhelming for new players. So I'm going to share with you five tips that I've learned to help you survive the first day and to get you started with exploring. For the sake of time, I've went ahead and created my character already. And I have a few worlds here, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one. So the first thing I would recommend if you're a brand new player to the game, this is not one of my tips, this is just, you know, something I'm letting you know, is to start on the classic mode. It's probably, you know, the easiest mode to start on for a new player. And I would recommend either doing a small or medium world, or you can go ahead and do a large world. I mean, it really doesn't matter, but I usually go for a medium world. You can name your world whatever you want. You can pick between corruption and crimson, but I always put it on random. So let's go ahead and start the world and I'll see you there with tip number one. All right, so you're gonna basically start the game with three basic tools, some type of sword, a pickaxe, and a copper ax. And for tip number one, I recommend going ahead and chop down as much of this wood as you can. Don't wanna go too, too crazy, but go ahead and chop it down because you're gonna need it because it's gonna be essential to uh, our crafting efforts pretty soon. And while we're out here crafting, Let's go ahead and take out this slime because the slime is going to be very important when it comes to once again crafting. We're going to need the slimes to make uh, to make torches, so it's good to go ahead and take them out while you're out here chopping your wood because those are the first things that are going to spawn. And the game god over here, what's his name? Brett. He also aids in taking out the slimes, which is helpful because he kind of keeps them off your back while you're out here uh, chopping down your wood hacking and whacking and smacking, you know, chopping that tree. And tip number two is crafting a workbench because a workbench is something that we're gonna to need to craft a variety of things in the game. So let's go ahead and craft that. It's gonna be very important when it comes to crafting our uh, items that we need for our shelter. I didn't mean to hit that butterfly. Let's go ahead and take out the slime. And before I craft the items that I need for my shelter, which is tip number three, let me go ahead and clear out a flat area to build our shelter. Now you don't necessarily have to make a flat area before building. I'm so sorry for killing that bunny, but he was in my way and I didn't want to stop. Um, you don't necessarily need a real flat area to build your shelter, but I normally like to, you know, flatten out the area because it gives me just a flat foundation to build on. I don't have a bunch of hills and stuff in my uh, in my way. Let me go ahead and place that down. This dirt block, I accidentally dug that up. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and place my workbench down because this is where our house is gonna be. Tip number three is to build a shelter to help us survive through the night. Now, let me show you what you can do. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Let's not do that. Let me take that down. All right, destroy that block. Now what you can do is just build up as high as you can. I normally like to bring it out, extend it out a little bit, you know, so it ain't looking too crammed in here. Let's go ahead and build it down. I'm going it, not like that. Game is just not cooperating with me. I guess it's operator error, right? But anyway, this is a, a box right all right so this box is good enough to keep us safe from the predators and the slimes and zombies and all that at nighttime but according to terraria standards this is not a suitable shelter okay so my tip number three again is to build a suitable shelter now in order to do that what we're going to have to do is first off we're going to have to craft a wooden chair or any kind of chair you're gonna need a door. You're gonna need a wooden table. And you're going to need some torches, at least one torch. The torches are very valuable in this game. So I'm gonna make as many as I can. And then what I also like to do is to get this wooden wall to fill in the background. As you can see right here, you can still see the trees and stuff in the background. But I like to go ahead and fill that in because that'll keep um, enemies from spawning into your house so let me go ahead and place that wooden wall down now it's wooden right now because that's all we have but as you go further along in the game and find different materials like stone and stuff like that you can just replace this wooden wall with those kind of items 
if the wooden wall log cabin is not your style but for just getting started for your first day this is very uh sufficient now this is still not technically a uh suitable shelter like i say you still need to put this wooden table down so let's go ahead and do that put down this wooden chair and we need to put down at least one torch now for the doors they have to be three blocks high so we'll take out three blocks. One, two, three. Place down this door. And now we have a suitable shelter that will allow us to one, be recognized as a shelter by Terraria. And two, it'll allow NPCs to move in like the God here, right here. And other NPCs like the merchant that we'll get later on, probably won't cover in this video because this is just the first day video. But this is what a suitable shelter looks like very basic nothing crazy but it's enough to get us through the first day but tip number four i would suggest making some type of armor and all you're gonna have access to right now is wood armor because that's the only uh, resource that we can get our hands on so let's go ahead and make some wooden armor and, and like you know it's, it's basic armor right so it's not gonna offer crazy amounts of protection but it's enough to keep us protected during the first day during our first exploration uh expedition and um you know it just holds us over until we can get to something something stronger like iron or something like that that leads me to our final tip which is the meat and potatoes of this game which is just let's go spelunking right let's go and explore the world and try to find a natural cave which most of the time you can find them you know not too far from your bases and what natural caves do, do they kind of introduce you to the caving mechanics in this game the mining mechanics and they also kind of offer you some some early game uh bonuses you know maybe some rope stuff that you need so, so hopefully we can find one so i can uh, demonstrate that in the game in this video at least and what i normally like to do with my houses too i usually like to put a door on both sides so i don't have to jump over the top so here we go this is a natural cave. I should have just came this way in the first place. So most of the time, these caves are dark. So you're going to want to put some type of torches on the wall. And like I was saying earlier, they also offer like they have pots and stuff that you can get some resources. Like we got some shuriken. We got some rope, which is very helpful. So we can just venture down here. We got some stone up there. And I kind of demonstrate for you how useful the rope is. Let's place that down like that. And I can just go, you know, helps me get out of the, the cave. And look like we got some other kind of material right there. Maybe that's some uh, some iron ore, which will allow us to build better armor. Got some more rope. See if I can rope my way up there. And that will allow me to have access. Yep, there's some iron ore. We can make some better tools out of this. We can make some better armor. And this cave looks like it goes on and on, but I hopefully you get the gist of, you know, what to do and how to survive your first night in the game. With this basic knowledge in hand, I hope you'll be in great shape to survive in the first few days in Terraria and well on your way to becoming a Terraria extraordinaire. If this video helped you launch your Terraria expedition, be sure to leave a like, maybe consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see more tips and tricks videos on other games and I'll be happy to make those for you guys. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.